Peggy 18. As any engineer knows, a great creation is made up of many components, much like the human body and all its vital organs. The Dead Space series relies on many elements to make Isaac Clarke's journey a compelling one. And if the story is the brains, and the gameplay its limbs, then the art direction must be at its heart. Lighting in Dead Space is almost a character in itself, alive and always reacting to Isaac's presence. Lights can direct player focus to specific objects or locations, give some small comfort in the dark, offer tactical assistance, or even provide tension through their utter unreliability. The lighting is always changing, either fading, flashing, or changing color, creating an air of instability and tension. To match the shattered scenery of Ishimura and the sprawl, most lights seem dingy, yellowed, and decayed, rather than the bright reds and blues we've come to expect from sci-fi stories. Isaac's path is lit with aged yellows and whites, as though these space stations have been lost in time. The technology used by Isaac and the other characters also seems old and broken down, as if it could short circuit at any moment. Since the last time Isaac spoke with Nicole was through a grainy static-filled log shown at the start of Dead Space 2, video static and interference also play an important role in the marker's distorted vision of her. Much of the technology in Dead Space 3 takes this feeling of brokenness a step further, as a lot of it is from an expedition lost 200 years prior to the events of the series. The buildings are falling apart, the doors screech when they open, and everywhere there is decay. Each of the locations of Dead Space, the USG Ishimura, the Sprawl, and now Tau Volantis, have their own unique design. Gothic-style architecture is prominent. Buildings feature protruding ribs, long wandering corridors, and vast underbellies, mimicking human body structure in their appearance. But the true terror of Dead Space lies with the Necromews. These hideous, twisted visions of humanity exist only to kill, and yet the tiniest glimmer of the people they once were still exists in their clothes and corrupted faces. Their bodies have been bent, broken, and repurposed from dead flesh to slash, gut, and gore. From the hulking brutes, to the nightmarish lurkers. Each and every necromorph has been designed to terrify and horrify as they haunt dark spaces in search of victims. But thanks to lighting, location, and sound, even when the necromorphs aren't visible, their presence is felt by Isaac every step of the way. But he isn't going down without a fight.